It's been said that certain celebrities will be leaving the country in the event Donald Trump is elected president. I know these celebrities have fans. Some of them like them for their music or their comedy or, you know, their speaking abilities. Sometimes their insight. Some people like these celebrities just because they do crazy things. So I wanted to grab a few of these. Uh, this is no, by no means a complete list. But I want to grab a, a, a few of these just to give kind of a comparison because you have to look at what you're gaining versus what you're losing. And, you know, that's that's true with any decision. So here I, I've grabbed a few uh, just for you to take a look at and, you know, see what you think. You know, what are we going to lose versus what are we going to gain? And really, truly, have we lost them? I mean, if they're leaving the country, we're still going to hear from them. I mean, they're celebrities. They're going to have their face in the spotlight. And to be perfectly honest with you, even if they leave the country, I'd say they'll probably be here on visas or, you know, green cards, whatever the case may be. Uh, They're not really leaving. You know, we may be losing some of their tax revenue. But other than that, you know, we'll still hear from them. So let's take a look at this list. Tonight is the measure of whether the country begins in the state of Wisconsin, a national drive to push back, or whether we have more to go to build a movement of resistance. But resist, we must. We must and we will much about that be committed. I never said, you're talking about that one? Mm -hmm. I never said I wasn't black, I said I wasn't Mm African-American. And um, to me that's a difference. Mm -hmm. Um, I have thank you to Ancestry.com actually for sending me my DNA test. I did mine too. You did yours? Yeah, I did mine. Isn't it awesome? It's crazy. I am from every continent in Africa except for one and I am also in, I'm from every continent in Europe. I think if you have to pay these days for a 15 kilogram piece of luggage, why the hell aren't you paying for the 15 kilogram that you are draping round your arms, your waist and your ass? People have different metabolisms, that's what I'm saying. Well, if your metabolism is really slow, yeah. then maybe you need to shove less in this end so that you don't get fat. Do you not realise where you're going with this? this How is did actually, you get this big? This is actually to do with a hate crime. Okay, and you're a victim of hate crime. Absolutely. In, in and can we call the police? Are there more people? people? Would you like to bring the police in? Then I have a telephone house. right there. Feel I think free. We should, would you like it brought to you? Because it's probably going to be hard to. Oh walk no, no, there. just don't say I'm fat because you know it's just my metabolism. No, love, you're fat because you eat too much. Go get yourself dairy milk. Okay. So you're finding me funny. This is, this is the message I'm getting. Peaches Geldof is to me what salt is to a wound. She is everything that's bitter and twisted in this world. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Jeff Shaw was a 17-year-old football star who was gunned down just outside his home. His killer, an illegal immigrant gang member who just got out of prison. Jess's dad, Jamil, is supporting Donald Trump for president because he knows he will end illegal immigration. Trump is the only one saying, you're going to be dealt with. We're going to enforce that. We're going to enforce that. That's a beautiful thing. I believe Donald Trump wants to make us great again, and he loves America. I came to hear Donald Trump's business plan for America. It's really cool to hear him speak the truth. Tell us like it is. Make America great. As a guy who's an international student, Trump is speaking out the truth. He wants to make America great, and that's what I want to. We have a country that we're proud of and that we love and that we're not going to lose. There is an assault on everything that we stand for, and we're going to stop the assault. We will make America great again. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message.
It sounded like you wanted the bill to pass. Uh, of course I wanted the bill to pass, what, my amendment to pass. What my amendment did is take citizenship off the table, but it doesn't mean, what it, what it doesn't mean that I supported the other aspects of the bill. I want immigration reform to pass, and that allows those who are here illegally to come in out of the shadows. That amendment would have allowed undocumented immigrants to uh, remain in the U.S. permanently and obtain legal status. So how do you square that circle? <laughs> Actually, Brad, it, it wouldn't have. People want to take back their country. We want to do it in a humane way, but we have to have a country. We don't have a country right now. We have people pouring in. They're pouring in. And they're doing tremendous damage. If you look at the crime, if you look at the economy, we want to have borders. To have a country, you have to have borders. We don't have borders right now.